What up Trekkers, Cal from Alleyways Travel here and today we are exploring Nusa Penida. But first, before I fall off this cliff, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below and give it a thumbs up. Let's go exploring. If you want a ticket to Nusa Penida from Nusa Lombonian, you need to get a return pass. It's about 100,000 rupiah or $10. The last boat comes back at 5 o'clock, so you need to make sure you're on it. You grab one of these passes down here at the Yellow Bridge. You would have seen that in the last vlog when we took it to Nusa Senegan. This is where the ticket office is and all the boats behind me to take you to Penida. Nusa Penida is the least developed island of all of the islands in the Penida district. It's been Bali's best kept secret for the last couple of decades and is only just starting to get popular in the last, in the last few years. Now we're heading to the famous Kling Kling Beach where there's an incredible spot to get photos and videos. A lot of people come here purely for their Instagram photo on Kling Kling Beach. A beautiful cliff with a wonderful view. So let's go check that out. So we just found ourselves a beautiful little restaurant on the hilltop on the way to Kling Kling Beach. It has some incredible views of the jungle. And I just ordered myself some good old fashioned migarang noodles. All right, now that we're all fueled up, time to make our way to Kling Kling Beach. Okay, so when you get to Kling Kling Beach, they would charge you 5,000 rupiah for the entry to the beach and 1,000 rupiah to park. Uh, that's assuming you have a moped. I'm not sure what parking would be if you're driving, but then who hires a car on this kind of island? It's an arduous journey getting here. A lot of off-roading, rocky, broken roads, a lot of jungle, not many towns on the way. But by the look of it already, well worth it. It's a very steep climb to go all the way down to the bottom to where the beach is. We chose not to do it, we went down a little bit of the way, got some good footage. Back to the bikes to explore some more Pinita. We think we're halfway to Manta Point on this very, very rocky, hard to navigate road on our mopeds. It's been like this for like half an hour and Emily's had a little bit of a spill and cut her leg. So I don't have the first aid kit. We've had to makeshift wrap it with the pool towel from the hotel and wash it with water. It doesn't look too bad. Like it looks, it looks bad, but it's not, it's, it's not too deep. So we've decided to turn around because it's really, really hot. And this is, uh, this is a ridiculous journey. We don't want to miss the boat back to Le Bonian either. So no mental point. <laughs> 